everybody. I want to share this critter and this one. This is a Shenandoah pawpaw. This is a select variety of pawpaw. This is Lily. I'm not sure she's canine. <laughs> what do you say? But she's a sweetheart. But good size comparison. This Shenandoah is about a pound. And um, Lily, what are you? Three pounds? Huh? Okay. So pawpaws can get really big. I'll put you down a little, baby. Um, size of a really large mango. Now, these are under cultivation. You can find good wild ones, uh, but luckily we have had wonderful people like Neil Peterson uh, spend and dedicate his entire life to crossing, selecting, and finding some of the best pawpaw genetics. And he released seven cultivars, all named after U.S. rivers with indigenous names, thus Shenandoah, Susquehanna, Allegheny, Wabash, Rappahannock, and Potomac. All wonderful pawpaws. Uh, Shenandoah is probably the queen of the pawpaws, certainly of Neil's, uh, in that it's a favorite of many. It is on the lighter side of both the color of the flesh and the aromatic notes. Uh, most all cultivated pawpaws are very sweet, but the variants can be in the texture of the, of the pulp, and also the different aromas and flavors in it. So let's, let's open this one and have a look. See if Lily wants to eat some. So what I like to do, you can open pawpaws any number of ways, but I like just to cut them in half like that so that I can sort of push pop that delicious custard pulp out. So, Shenandoah, as you can see, has a very light color to it. And it has light aromatic notes. Um, all pawpaws have some seeds, these beautiful dark black seeds. Hmm. Hmm. Looks like end of summer treat. Looks like dessert. Hmm. A friend of mine says it's like like eating a milkshake because the flavors in here are very tropical. I taste a hint of mango, but no acidity, really no acidity in the, in the pawpaw, which makes it great uh, for eating lots of. Um, banana for sure, uh, a touch of pineapple in there, even a little bit of melon in this one. Maybe a little bit of marshmallow. Ultimately, it's all pawpaw. That's one of the great things you'll hear people say this and that it tastes like all these different flavors. Ultimately, it's pawpaw. I mean, what else can sort of pull up all of those flavors? Uh, it's very unique and it's very good. So Shenandoah has a very low seed to pulp ratio, meaning, you know, it only has a few seeds and has lots of delicious pulp. Uh, I believe Shenandoah is about 6% um, seed to pulp ratio, which is very good. Whereas some wild, you know, unselected ones could be 50, 75 percent seed uh, and not necessarily have these these delicious smooth notes. Um, so the cultivation really shows up in both the firmness of the texture as well, uh, which is really nice. Um, pawpaws can run from a very sort of creamy avocado, you know, sort of a, a, a firm custard to more of a squishy, watery. Um, texture and custard. So I appreciate the little bit firmer notes to this one. Mm, very good. Um, it's a very productive tree. That's a very good selection to grow um, for both its vigor. Um, it has a very good production in full sun, happy. You know, you might get 35 to 50 pounds of fruit per tree. And Mm, that's so good. Another unique thing about the Shenandoah is that it'll produce singly. Oftentimes, it'll just be one pawpaw hanging off the stem, off the pellicle, uh, which makes picking and harvesting very easy. Because if you pick a pawpaw and keep that stem, the pawpaw will store longer as well versus if it's sort of torn or 
tears um, where it meets the stem, the pawpaw will just ripen more quickly. Um, so especially if you're sort of harvesting these for market or for selling them, having a single producer is very, um, is very helpful. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a proven winner. My friend Jim Davis, who has the oldest uh, pawpaw orchard in the country, it's uh, 22 years old now, has six acres of uh, planted cultivars, namely Shenandoah, Susquehanna, Potomac. He does have some PA Golden in there, Allegheny, um, Wabash, mostly Neil Petersons. Um, and the Shenandoah is definitely one of his strongest, most steady producers. So it's been proven even at that sort of, you know, more commercial scale, uh, great backyard tree as well. I don't know, and what else can I say? It's just, it's, it's an awesome fruit. Um, it's on the lighter side. I usually go toward the, the richer, um, deeper notes of a pawpaw, something more like Susquehanna, which I'll cover in another video. But typically, especially if it's like your first pawpaw, this is a great first one. Cheers. Mm -hmm.